Hello, spiritual prayer warriors. Boy, I had a wonderful intercessory prayer meeting tonight, and we were just worshiping the Lord. We were praying in the Spirit, just accomplishing great things, digging deep and releasing the kingdom of heaven, and God spoke to me right in the middle of it. I heard his voice. He said, Bell bows down. Bell, B-E-L. It caught my attention. I went, oh, okay. That's the way that the Lord pulls me into vision sometimes. And so I was listening. And he said, go to the scripture. I was familiar with the scripture. It's in Isaiah 46, 1. Let me read it to you. Bell bows down. Nebo stoops. Their idols were on the beasts and on the cattle. It talks about them being hauled away, the breaking of those idols. And the Lord then began pulling me into this experience where I was kind of like playing out the second chapter of what he showed me, the vision he gave me in about the middle of November. Where he talked to me about the demonic spirits of idolatry that were attempting to take over America and take over America's politics, government, and all of those things. I want you to know there is a dismantling taking place right now of those idols in the pseudo administration that seems to be in power but is crumbling. Realize everything that Biden touches fails and it will come to failure. God was talking to me about the work that's going on behind the realm. So I wanted to encourage you. In fact, I'm going to give you four main points in just a few minutes. But last November, the Lord gave me the, the vision where I heard the lion of the tribe of Judah roar. And it pulled me into the spiritual realm. And I saw the lion, Jesus, roar. And in his roar were these words, you have lost, we have won. And they went into the back of the righteous army that was there in front of him. They then simultaneously said, you have lost, we have won. Righteous army, I'm talking about believers. You, me, all of us who are prayer warriors in the Lord Jesus Christ and are taking the stand for his faith and his kingdom against all of the idolatry and the stuff that's going on in America and other nations around the world. But there in front of the righteous army were these idols. Some were made of wood, stone, precious metals, other things. And on the faces of those idols were the faces of demons. They moved. You could tell they were living. The rest of it was inanimate, the body. And those demons then began to express that they were old demons who had ruled nations and that they were rising up to rule present nations of the earth. But as the lion's army said, you have lost, we have won, the vibration of those words reached the idols and they began to crumble. I'm telling you that God is getting ready to destroy, to paralyze, to crumble, to defeat the spirits that are behind all of those far left groups. In fact, the main one is the ruling political spirit of Jezebel. But also on the far right is a ruling political spirit of Pharisee. Now that's not of God. That's, not, that's a legalistic demon, a religious demon that seeks to control how God is going to move. Jezebel on the far left just simply wants to destroy the influence of Christianity, Jesus Christ, and God in America right now. But on the far right, there are those who are posing. And, and I'm not actually coming against anybody's relationship with the Lord in the terms of whether they are saved or not, but I am coming against the assumption that they have that they can go against God, they can make decisions, and they can control how God is going to move in America, who God is able to use in America, what um, the American government, a righteous government that God wants, how it is supposed to look, 
purely upon their own desires and upon how revival is supposed to take place in America. All those things, Pharisee, control, manipulation. And so I see that God is moving behind the scenes. Everything that Biden touches fails. Fails. Get back to Bell and Nebo for a minute because this is what the Lord was showing me. Bell is part of Jezza Bell, compound name. She sought to control God's people by ruling from the inside on the throne of Israel. Nebo, which is part of Nebuchadnezzar's name, sought to take God's people away in captivity. So here's four main points that I think are very important for us today. And this is exciting to me. I don't want to get too bogged down in, in all of the teaching. I really want to lift your hearts. When God spoke to me and he said, Baal bows down, I knew that he is saying that right now their pseudo-administration is crumbling. The spirits behind the scene of idolatry that motivates them are losing their power. It doesn't mean that they're being removed from our nation or from the face of the earth. It means that that destruction that is there is the taking away of their ability to control others. It is paralyzing their authority because God is getting ready to move. Absolutely. Remember, before I give you these four points, that we are right now, December and January, in that two-month prophetic portal where God is preparing us. Because he said, come February, we will launch. So come February, we are going to see amazing things in God, and we are going to be launched. But here's what I wanted to tell you, four points that God gave me. When he said, Bell bows down and Nebo stoops, it was in reference to how that they had led Israel into captivity in Babylon, but now they themselves are being destroyed and they will go into captivity themselves. And the idols that control them and that they worshipped were going to be brought down, bowed down, stooped, laid on carriages so that oxen and cattle can carry them away. God is getting ready to make Jezebel bow down and be carried away because God is not controlled by man. So here's the four points. Number one, God is bigger than the strongest of idols. Uh, these are just the things that he was speaking to me while I was praying. To let you know, don't be afraid of the idols. Don't be afraid of men. I mean, we war against them. We have to. We're the ecclesia. God has given us the charge to be able in his name, oh, that precious name of Jesus, to bind and to loose, to bind everything that's coming against the kingdom of God and to release the kingdom of God into America right now. But he said, God is bigger than the strongest of idols. We have the power and we have the authority. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Sometimes when you look at natural circumstances, you wonder if or when. But those are not questions. Those are not legitimate questions in the kingdom because we have the power and God has already spoken. It's going to happen. And by faith and patience, we inherit the promises. So we stand in third heaven authority and we see it from God's perspective. 
And God's perspective says, Bell bows down. The idol will be broken, the idol will be carried away. And those who the idol used to bring God's people into captivity, now remember, this is a Christian nation. The covenant established with the founders and the framers of our nation was by God and he is going to keep that commitment with them that covenant with them God is bigger than any idol and whatever any idol can do number two God is breaking the system of idolatry and government that wants to take his people captive a lot of people think that it's just purely a power grab that people in the natural realm are trying to do in America the far left and just taking over and changing the government and so forth and, and on the surface of course that's what it looks like. A lot of people are smart enough to see that underneath that behind the scenes in the spiritual realm it's demonically inspired because it is anti-Christ and against what God has established this nation on, pure and simple. He doesn't want it to change that way. That's not God. But we have to understand, this is a war on Christianity and on the principles of God. Number three, Jesus is leading captivity captive. That's what I heard in the Spirit. And the reference of that, of course, is in Colossians 2.15, that when Jesus died, he went into Hades, and then he was raised from the dead. That whole warfare surrounding that, it says that he disarmed principalities and powers, and he made a show of them openly. In Ephesians 4.7, it says he led captivity captive. That's in reference to when he broke the demonic control over mankind so that they could receive him as their savior that he disarmed them the spirits in the spiritual realm and he led them openly in the spiritual realm as being captive those who were the captors before the captors of humanity are now being led as captives by the power of Jesus Christ Bell bows down. And then number four, the Lord said, use that phrase, Bell bows down as a prophetic decree, as a weapon, as a release of third heaven authority and faith against those spirits. Kind of as a part of you have lost, we have won. And so we're going to do that. In fact, I would like you to join with me right now. And if you would just say this with me, Lord Jesus, we receive your command. We see what you are doing in the spiritual realm. We believe that you are high and lifted up and that all authority, both in heaven and in earth, has been given unto you and that you have given us that authority over all of the power of the enemy. And so in Jesus' name, we declare, Bell bows down. You have lost, we have won. Bell bows down. You're going to begin to see here, people, that there's a whole lot more that is going to happen in the political and in the social spectrum and a lot of other things in the United States because even though this is a warfare and I'm not telling you that uh, you know it's all just going to go away and it's going to be peaches and cream we're going to continue fighting but the Lord says watch and see because everything that Biden touches will fail hallelujah God is on the move I want to pray for you right now in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God. I pray for these wonderful people and all these prayer warriors now 
that as you, during these two months, are preparing us for being released in February, that's connected with this. In February, there will be a launch. And spiritually, we are going to see those idols crumble. We are going to see Bell bow down. I decree that. I speak it in the spiritual realm now. I speak it into the atmosphere. Bell bows down in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I pray for your people that you would inspire their hearts. And Lord, that you would give them faith and boldness and assurance to tap into the spiritual realm and run with the vision. Run with what the Spirit of God is telling them, not what circumstances around them are saying. Those voices we rebuke in the name of Jesus Christ and we tear them down because we shall see. Come February, we will launch and then we will watch it unfold as we progress. I thank you, Lord. Bless your people. Heal your people. Strengthen your people. Prosper your people. Give them wisdom. Increase their anointing. Refresh their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, I ask you to uh, go to our website. You'll see it in the, the link is in the description. Also, would you like this video? Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And while you're there on our website, would you consider becoming a partner of the ministry? If the Spirit of God moves you to do so, the prophet's reward, he will add to you the anointing and the revelation that is upon this ministry. In Jesus' name, God bless.